Here at Carey Family Dental, we get tons of questions regarding insurance benefits and coverage, so we wanted to put together a little video to answer some of those questions today. What's the best insurance option for me? That's a great question. While every patient's needs are different, there are a couple of different things that you wanna look for when choosing a plan that's right for you. A couple of red flags you wanna look for with new insurance policies are gonna be waiting periods, meaning that you have to buy yourself into the plan, um, typically six to 12 months before basic and major services are covered, and missing tooth clauses meaning that if you have any teeth missing prior to your plan becoming into effect, it may not cover things like implants, bridges, or dentures. You also wanna look at um, your maximums for the year. Most plans have a max starting at around $1,000, but if you have more dental treatment that you know you need to have done, look for a higher max and look out for deductibles. Why can't you tell me the exact amount my insurance will pay for this service? This is also a very good question. Insurances release percentages to us, not dollar amounts. So if you come in for a service, for instance, and they say they pay 100% for that service, it's of their allowable charge. So if we charge $100 for a service, they may allow $90, and they'll cover that $90 at 100%, and that will leave you with an estimated copay of $10 or so. We never know exactly how much insurance is gonna pay, until we receive the check. Do you accept my insurance? This is one of the most popular questions that we get from our patients every day. A good answer is yes, we accept your insurance. However, we're not considered in network with any insurance company. We accept all plans that allow you to go to either an in or out of network provider. Most of the time, there's no difference whether you go in or out of network, your maximum is still the same, your percentages that they reimburse on are still the same. In rare instances, you may have an in-network feature on your plan, meaning that if you go to an in-network provider, your maximum will be higher. We do disclose this information to our patients, but typically it makes no difference if you go to an in or out of network provider. You have to remember that being an in-network provider means that that dental office has contracts set up with the insurance company that benefits the insurance company and not you as the patient, which is very important. Our doctors never want insurance to dictate what type of treatment or what type of materials we use for you. This is why we choose not to be in network. Another question we receive often is, will my insurance pay for cosmetic services? The quick answer is no, they will not. Um, if you're looking at things like whitening or veneer strictly for cosmetic purposes, insurance will not pay for those services. However, if you're having issues with your front teeth and they just so happen to need a crown and we're able to do that and it will make your teeth look aesthetically more pleasing, then yes, they may pay for those services. The best thing for us to do would be to send in a pre-treatment estimate to your insurance company to see if they would consider that. When thinking of your insurance benefits, you wanna think of it more as a form of payment instead of an actual benefit. We try to uh, disconnect insurance when it comes to treatment. We never want them to dictate what type of treatment our patients can receive. So always think of insurance as a form of payment. If you ever have any additional questions in reference to insurance coverage or choosing a plan, you can reach out to me at any time. My name is Courtney and I'm head of insurance here at Carey Family Dental and I'll be more than happy to go over plan details with you.